Hi, another Mrs. A psychology revision video, um, paper two approaches, and again we're looking at the specific comparison essay, and this time it's biological versus the other approaches. So we've got um, a three already, and this is the fourth one. This one's going to focus on the biological. Let's have a look at the question. Okay, so here we're assuming that they've given you a question like this. Discuss the biological approach. Refer to at least one other approach in your answer. So it's an essay question, 12, 16 marks, let's say. So it is very much a biological essay. You're going to use the, um, the outline, the key assumptions of biological, um, the biological approach. And then when we're discussing it, when we're analysing it, that's where we bring in the comparisons. Okay, so when we're evaluating it, that's where the comparisons should come in. So this is a quick recap. So you should already know these, but um, AO1s, you are outlining biological determinism, genetics, uh, so that genes influence behavior, Darwinism, in other words, using animals, etc., and making comparisons, and the whole area of focus is on the brain and behavior um, being influenced by the brain. So key assumptions then, and now we're gonna look at the comparisons. Okay, and whilst you're comparing, you're looking at which is better and why, etc. Okay, so we're looking, we're going to look at the comparisons, but obviously um, we would be trying to include our strengths and our weaknesses. So you can pause the video and just have a quick look at these. Remember, it is a recap, but now we're going to look at comparisons. So starting off with psychoanalytic, it's probably quite a common one, really. Psychoanalytic versus biological. Okay, so key areas to discuss. Holism, reductionism, nature, nurture, free will, determinism, the methods they both use, in other words, are they very subjective, ob objective, uh, therapies that they come up with, whether it's negative and past, present, etc. So th these ones at the top are the, probably the most important ones. So um, you can pause the video, but um, as it is, it's a recap, um, and uh, have a look at these key points, okay, which you should be able to expand on. Okay, and then going on very quickly, we've got behaviorist versus biological. Biological versus behaviorist. Okay, again, a nice comparison, so it would be a good one to use with all these key terms. Oops, a bit of a spelling mistake there. Okay, so a little bit more detail for you, and again, pause if you need it. Then we're going on to biological versus humanism. Again, quite a nice comparison. So pause again, have a look at those key points. Biological versus social learning theory. And finally, biological versus the cognitive approach. So it's probably not quite such a good one uh, to compare, but obviously I've put it up there just in case you, you need it. Okay, so if we go back and have a look at our essay question again, just to recap, make sure we're all clear on that. You would be answering a biological question. Okay, so you're outlining the biological approach, you're outlining the AO1s, and then in your discussion, in your evaluation, you're bringing in the comparisons. And when you're comparing, you're trying to make those evaluative com comments about which is better. Okay, and then there'll be another video as well.